Hello, and today I will be showing you how to build this 15 foot tall, 950 pixel mega tree. Okay, so let's start with the parts that I didn't record. So we have the star. Uh, it's um, uh, made of coral and it has 150 pixels. And we got the star from uh, Gilbert Engineering. And then we have a wooden base, just a cross, uh, made out of 4x4s. And it's about 6 feet by 6 feet, I think. And it's just uh, connected in the middle with some screws and some glue. And then we also have a, a controller box for the mega tree. This one, uh, inside of it, if I open it, we have uh, two Meanwell LRS 350-12 power supplies and uh, SAN devices E6804 and one of those uh, Falcon uh, power boards. Um, so you've got uh, five wires coming out. One of them is for power injection, the other four are for pixel outputs. And yeah, that's the controller. And then uh, over here, these are the pipes that we're going to be using as the pole. So we have a welding guy that's going to weld us uh, something to attach those pipes uh, in the middle of the base. So uh, let's start building a mega tree from the bottom up. So let's start with building the PVC base. Okay, so now we have the PVC base uh, built and painted, and it's gonna go onto the 4x4 base, kind of like that. And the pipes are gonna be coming up from the middle right there. So this is gonna hold the lights a foot and a half above the ground, so there's clearance between the ground where the snow is and the lights. So, next, let's, um, I'm going to work on the winch that's going to pull the poles up. So this design is called an ASAP pole, um, ace trap and pole. Um, the design is by Walter Monkhouse and he uh, made this design where there's a winch and it pulls, uh, pushes this pipe up and it, uh, this pipe pushes this pipe up. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I build it. So now let's build that winch. That winch mechanism all built. It has a uh, boat winch and I made this uh, plate out of wood and there's uh, muffler clamps are supposed to attach this assembly to that larger pipe. I'll leave a link in the description for the instructions how to build this uh, winch assembly. So now we can get to uh, um, building, not building, pushing the pixels into the pixel strip and we're gonna run down the sides of the pipes. Okay, so there you just saw a little snippet of me making uh, two strips. But there's a lot more than two strips, there's about 16. And we've got two, uh, three inch spacing between lights. And this is currently my room. We have 
a whole bunch of these lights. So, yeah. There's about 16 strings here and 900, no, 800 pixels. So now, uh, let's, uh, let me show you the topper. Okay, I found the topper. So this is, um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, CNC plastic and I got it from Holiday Coral. And uh, this is gonna, this part is gonna go onto the pole and these are three uh, holes for guide wires to hold it up. And the lights are supposed to attach into this thing. Let me, I can demonstrate it. Kind of like this. One second. There you go. And you're supposed to put uh, two zip ties here and you're supposed to hold it in place. So that's the piece that's going to hold the lights at the top. And then there's going to be that um, 150 node star at the very top. Okay. So now we will attach this topper to the top of the bowl. Okay, so the idea is like this. We have the um, the pipe that's going to be in the middle, and we have a 3D printed adapter and a PVC pipe. So the 3D printed adapter slides into the pipe like that, and then this pipe, this uh, small piece of PVC pipe, fits perfectly into the, um, the tree topper, and then this end is going to go into the adapter, and I'm going to have two bolts going in through there to hold it in place. So I'm going to get back to you once I do that. Okay, so what I was doing before wasn't really working, so I 3D printed a uh, drilling template which is going to slide onto the pipe and now I can easily drill the holes like that. So I'll get back to you once I do that. Okay, so it worked out with that 3D printed drill uh, template. Um, you can see the bolts are in place and the PVC pipe is not moving. So now I'm going to mount the tree topper and the star onto this thing and I'll get back to you when Okay, so now I mounted the part that's gonna go on the top. So here we have our tree topper held in place with these screws and then I have the star attached to the top too. And then on the main pole I attach this and this is gonna be the guide for this pipe. Okay, so now we need to get the base done and then we can start putting the mega tree together. Alright, so we just got back from the welder guy and this is what he made for us. Um, it's pretty good. So now I'm gonna have to clean this up a bit with the angle grinder and then I'm gonna paint this so it doesn't rust. Okay, so I cleaned the metal piece up with the angle grinder and then I spray painted it black so it won't rust and it's going to be attached to the base the wood base kind of like this with eight screws so I'm going to screw this in and I'll show you when it's done okay now this part is ready you can see I screwed it in with eight screws it should hold on pretty well so now we're at the point when I can go and set it all up right over there so, let's do that now. Alright, so now we're at a point where you can kind of see uh, how the design is going to work. So we have a uh, winch here, and this winch is going to pull this pipe up. And that pipe is going to push the top up and it's going to come out like that. And now we have to mount all these, light, all these lights onto here. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty big. So now we have all the lights put in and wired up here. So now 
we have to run the wires that are going to go up to the star, and then we can uh, put that thing up there. All right, we're almost there. So the mega tree is finally up. So I'm gonna give you a couple of design notes and also the wiring. So right now, uh, the entire thing is held on by the strap. It's holding it up, right? So uh, this is not permanent. This is just a temporary solution for now. Permanent. Uh, soon, I'm gonna have to put some bolts at the near the top to hold the center pole and, um, at uh, there. And then um, the way I attached these lights to the PVC base is with these bungee balls. There's like a plastic ball with a little bungee cord attached and I just put them through the hole and loop them around to the PVC pipe. And over here is the piece that the welder made for us. Attached with uh, eight screws. And yeah, oh, and one more thing right there. There's a little PVC coupling that's meant to stabilize that pushing pole. Okay, now for the electronics and wiring. So over here, we have like a main control rack with a Raspberry Pi, a network switch, and a router. So that uh, connects to the controller in here, which is like two power supplies and the uh, sand devices controller. So we've got four outputs. Output one goes here to this string, goes up there, down here to this string, up there, and then back down here. And the same thing happens uh, four times along here until the end over here where I have an F amp, a uh, signal amplifier, and that goes to this wire. That wire runs up the pole and to the star, and that's what gives the data to the star. And then I have a second wire that's for power injection that runs up to the star and up there I have a power injection key which allows me to inject power for the star. So in here, you can see that's why I have the power injection board. So yeah, the mega tree is up and built. So now it's time for the big reveal. Time to turn it on and show you all how it works. All right, so now we have the mega tree completely built, and now we can start playing some patterns on it. In three, two, one. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty bright. Put on some other colors. That's red. Green. Blue. These are the test patterns built into the sand devices controller, by the way. That looks pretty cool. That's purple and green. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the test patterns off. And I'm gonna play you a little snippet of Wizards in Winter that I'm gonna play for the Christmas light show this year.
that's as much as I'm going to show you of that part. So now I'm going to see you in the morning when it's light. Okay, so now it's the morning of the next day. And we took down the mega tree, we put it on the side of the lawn instead of in the middle of the driveway. And that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you found this video useful or entertaining. And if you did, please subscribe. It's going to help out the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.